Odell didn't deserve that contract extension, the Giants should have let Odell walk. What is up, know it alls? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Joey, and let's just get right into it, guys. I had no idea that David was going to make that video. I saw it just like the rest of you and thought, are you being serious right now? You don't think Odell deserved that contract extension? I was watching it and, like, I was shocked. I knew immediately, okay, a rebuttal video needs to come because this is just ridiculous. The idea that Odell Beckham did not deserve that contract by the Giants is absolutely ridiculous let's just put aside this idea that odell is a me guy all he cares about is himself and his numbers and all that let me ask you something did odell hold out did he not report to the training camps did he make it a me show did he pull Le'Veon bell no he didn't he could have done a Le'Veon bell he could have done the aaron donald where he just sat out and demanded his money and not and not show up at all but instead what did he do he showed up to practice, he showed up to the OTAs, and was ready to work. He was ready to be there for his team. We all we all know that he's not one to shy away from controversy, and he's going to speak his mind, and he's going to do dumb stuff on the sidelines from now and again. But have you ever heard a teammate bash Odell? Have you ever heard a teammate say anything bad about Odell? No, you haven't. Have you heard like teammates talk about Le'Veon Bell, about this and that? Yeah, you have, and that's completely fine. But don't try to sit there and tell me that Odell is a me guy when all he's been talking about is he wants to make it to the playoffs. He wants a championship. He wants to win. You don't let players like that walk away. And you definitely don't let them walk away like that when they're a uh, generational talent, just, you know, a potential Hall of Famer. No big deal, right? They say you're not supposed to give big money to, uh, to wide receivers like that. They shouldn't be paid quarterback money. And that's true for the most part. But Odell is not a regular wide receiver. This is a generational wide receiver, one of his kind, only one of his kind. He, the, the stuff he's been doing since he came into the league, he's up there with Randy Moss, Jerry Rice. He's putting up better numbers, if not the same numbers, than they have their first like three or four seasons. And you mean to tell me that we should just let him walk out of the building like that and just, that's it, all right, we had our chance and let's just, whatever, let's just let him go. When you have a megastar, when you have a superstar at any position, you, you keep them, all right? It's as simple as that. Especially especially if they're wide receiver, okay? But Joey, Odell isn't getting his numbers this year. He's not even having that good of a season. Are we watching the same team right now? Who's throwing Odell the ball? 58-year-old Eli Manning? Eli has been absolutely terrible this year. And I, I know you're gonna say, Joey, Eli hasn't been terrible. The O-line's been terrible. Listen. Eli has as much to blame as the Giants' woes on offense as anyone else, okay? You are still the quarterback. It is still your job to get the ball to your playmaker. All season long, what has Eli been doing? Checking it down. Checking it down, checking it down, checking it down. Saquon Barkley, I mean, thank God for him because, I mean, he is getting put through the ringer his, his rookie year. Eli is just, like, he, Eli is not throwing the ball more than 10 yards. That's just a fact. So, of course, Odell Beckham is going to be upset. When he's, he's thinking to himself, all right, I just got paid this huge contract. I got people shitting on me, telling me, you know, they're hating on me, telling me that I'm not worth it and all that. Let me go out and prove to them why I deserve this money. Is he being put in the position to do that? Absolutely not. Odell Beckham is being used as a decoy this season, all right? Not only are teams doubling him like every time he's on the field, but he, he's not even getting thrown the ball anymore. Every, every time you, like, you're there in the red zone, they're not going to Odell. They're going to like Sterling Shepard or they're doing another check down to like Saquon Barkley. Odell is, is, is not being, is, is, he's not being allowed to prove why he deserves that contract, okay? So of course he's going to get upset on the sideline. Of course he's going to be, he's going to make a big fuss and all that. But you know what? The guy has passion, all right? I don't care. You can do whatever you want on the sideline, but if you show up during the game and if you're giving it all, that's what matters, all right? We can look at other, and first of all, let's just say, we, we all know that wide receivers are the biggest divas in all of football, and, and there's no other position where you will find a more diva-eccentric player than that for wide receiver position. We've seen it time and time again. We see it with Antonio Brown, 
We see it with DeAndre Hopkins. They all are upset when they don't get their catches, when they don't get their numbers, all right? So let's not make this, this is just a no-dell moment, okay? You can ask current players, former players, retired players that are, that are with the Giants franchise, they will have nothing but good things to say about Odell Beckham Jr. As soon as he got his contract extension, his buddy Sterling Shepard, is, they're all like parading in the locker room. We, you got retired guys like uh, like Sean O'Hara saying the Giants did the right thing. I mean, it's this idea that we shouldn't, like he's a locker room cancer, that he's not a leader or something like that. Like that's just dumb, okay? Like, let, let's make this clear. Odell Beckham is not like, he is not the guy. He is not the one leading this team, all right? We gave him a lot of money, but you will ne name me a football team where the wide receiver is the leader. He is the guy. He is the one that is leading the team all the time. Everyone, look, everyone, you know, he he's the guy leading the charge and all that. No, it's it's like the quarterback. It's like the the defensive captain, the linebacker, whatever. The wide receivers they get paid the big bucks because they make the big plays. All right, Odell. Maybe he's not the leader that you know you guys are, are thinking that he's going to be, but he leads in his own way. He leads by by pushing his teammates to win. He he will never like get upset when a teammate like scores a touchdown. Whenever like another wide receiver scores a touchdown, Odell's the first guy there. He's a team guy. He's not a me guy. He's happy for everyone. He wanted the Giants to draft Saquon Barkley. He was saying it for the longest time. He's like, give me Barkley, give this team Barkley, because me and Barkley are gonna make the best duo the wide receiver running back duo in the league. And you know what? They have the potential to be. They very well should be. But of course they're not because Eli Manning is checking it down to Saquon every every two plays. And it's always like just a, a hike and then, oh, I'm not going to bother throwing it down 10 yards. Here you go, Saquon. Bail me out. And that's what's happening. That's exactly what's happening this year. That's why Odell doesn't have a touchdown because Eli is incapable of throwing him more than 15 yards in the air. And let's not blame Odell for getting that stupidly high contract when you got bums like Sammy Watkins and Brandon Cooks getting paid out the wazoo. They're the ones that really messed up the wide receiver market, okay? We weren't going to pay nearly that much if those bozos over there didn't sign those guys to ridiculous contracts like that. The contract wasn't even that bad. He got $65 million guaranteed when you got guys like Mike Evans with a $55 million guaranteed deal. Like clearly Odell is is worth a lot more than Mike Evans, and Mike Evans is nowhere close to Odell, all right? So don't give me that Odell broke the market open for wide receivers. I keep hearing like, Joey, teams that, you know, pay for these like number one wide receivers, they don't make the Super Bowl. Like Super Bowl teams, like they're, they're made by like quarterbacks that make these average wide receivers like look good and all that. It's all about like the defense and all that. And you gotta remind you that the Falcons just went to the Super Bowl a couple years ago, and they got Julio Jones on their team, and he's like probably the, he might even be better than Odell, all right? So don't give me that Super Bowl teams don't have like stud wide receivers, all right? They clearly do. It, 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 the Super Bowl teams, it's a composition-based team, all right? It's not because you're only going to get there because of the wide receiver or the running back, all right? You need a good quarterback to get to the Super Bowl, and that's why the Giants aren't making the Super Bowl anytime soon. It's not because we paid Odell Beckham all this money. It's because we got old-ass Eli Manning that's still throwing the ball for us. Look guys, you can shit on the Giants all you want, and I won't blame you at all. I'll probably be there right beside you. But don't tell me that the reason why the Giants are going to not do anything in the future is because we paid Odell Beckham all this money. We are going to succeed with Odell Beckham. He is the t a top three wide receiver, generational talent. I mean, the stuff he's been doing so far in his career, it's, it's Randy Mosk-esque, it's Jerry Rice-esque, and this team was absolutely correct to lock him up. You don't let Hall of Fame players walk away from you. Like, I don't care what position they play, you keep them with you. You guys are going to see, when the Giants have an actual quarterback that isn't scared to throw it 20 yards down, the Giants are going to be dominant. We have one of the best receivers in the game, we have one of the best running backs in the game. All we need is all we need is a quarterback, and I know saying all we need is a quarterback is like, are you serious, Joey, because the quarterback is the most important position in the game. But look, I mean, when these guys, like one of these wide receivers and running backs just fall into your lap, you don't let them go because you don't have the quarterback all right you got to take it for what it is we had Odell we're not going to let him go we had the opportunity to draft Saquon Barkley he's the best running back in the league so we just we needed to keep them so if you agree with me let me know in the comments below I had to make a rebuttal video against David I mean it, I can't believe he, he tried he, he pulled me out of this man I was just here cool and I saw the video then I was like all right I got to go back home I got to make the rebuttal video this is insane so uh, everyone you know 
Let me know what you think in the comments. Make sure you subscribe, like the video, and all that. If you're a first time watcher, I really appreciate you guys checking out our channel. Make sure that you look at everything that we've got going on. And uh, we're, we're lucky to have you guys, and we're looking forward to uh, you guys sticking around with us. So check that notification bell, you know, hit that like button, all that. We really appreciate it, guys. So, all right, know it all. Peace.